send you out to work. I've got to go out because I'm going to punch something. I've got to go out because I'm going to punch something. What happens when kids have their rules taken away? Can you get down, please? You can't stop, can you? Listen to me! And how will the experience affect In Eastbourne, Alison Henry is a housewife and slave to her five kids. Bobby! Bobby! Probably running around after the children. Shall I help you? I can't cut. Can? You can't be bothered. Everything is, I want Mum all the time. Mum? Hello? What? The children do you think they... They were all the rules. If I had it my way, it, it would help more. Husband Richard also doesn't yeah, help out, well, as he's been off fine. sick for two and a half years recovering from cancer. They said, we think it's gone. We can't be 100% sure. I've just got to try and get on with my life best I can. So he spends all his time at home. But he knows his place. I've always said to Richard, they come first with me, all the children, you know, and that's the way it is. So the regulations and rules with children We'll send them the other way. I mean, being a child is about being free and having fun and no rules. No rules means no set bedtimes. And every night it's musical beds for nine-year-old Sophie, eight-year-old Billy and six-year-old Tilly. Bedtimes are a bit chaotic. We don't go to sleep until 11 o'clock. <laughs> Or more like 12 or 30. I go to bed at 14. Yeah, the three little ones, they rule the house because they never listen to my mum. They just don't listen. Unless I go to sleep, they don't go to sleep. Done it? Very rarely comes in our room. He did come in a couple of nights a few weeks ago and because I'm not used to him being in there, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep with him, so there you go. Good night, Billy. In Northampton, Michelle Gibb is a stay-at-home mum who rules her roost with an iron fist. Right, Neo, I'm going to set the cooker for three minutes and you'll stay on the naughty step till it's time to get off. Husband Paul, who works for the council, shares her views on tough luck. First and foremost, we're your parents, then we're your friends. Yeah, and sometimes it's even Sergeant Major. It's important for our children to have discipline and respect. You can sit down there. Well, lies, because that really winds them up. We have to teach our children respect. As part of that respect, Michelle insists on going to her room for some time away from the family every day. My day is busy, so when I get my me time, I like it to be just that. I don't want the kids bothering me every five minutes. Mum, can you get out, please? Out, out, out. Go and ask your dad. Honestly. They might be strict with the kids, but they're not with the law. I've smoked um, cannabis, marijuana for, for a number of years now. It doesn't rule my life, but do I enjoy it? Pass us the ball. But before playtime, it's work time. Every morning, 16-year-old Roxanne and 10-year-old Israel have to get up early and do chores before going to school. We all have to do the jobs around the house, which is really good, because then it shows that we're working as a team. And... Roxanne washes up, and she does the hoovering, or cleans the bathroom. Yeah, my mum did the dishwasher yesterday. I think my children should work to just appreciate the value of money, to be honest. It's kind of worth two pounds. Can you give me a beer out of the fridge, please? Okay. That's the other 50p. Nice one. Family that works together stays together. <laughs> Contact with their husbands for that time. <laughs> Just be strong, I'll be back, yeah? All right then, bye. And here we are. Okay. Oh my goodness, they've got a dog. <laughs> okay, I can I... And it's back in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Before they meet their husbands, the wives have a chance to take a good look around their new homes. I'll probably uh, make sure that all this was emptied and... Oh my goodness. Nice size garden. Obviously, they're... They don't like gardening very much. Is that poo? It is! Oh my days! That is disgusting. 
because they don't look good. Could have made a bit of an effort with the oven, maybe. It's, it's disgusting. Each wife has left a written manual as a guide for the new wife to run their homes. I do everything for the kids. I cook, clean and run around after them all day, every day. <laughs> I... In our house, the adults are in control. I have strict punishments to hand if the children break the rules. I'm very worried for my children at the moment. My children don't have bedtimes and they're re rarely asleep before 11 p.m. And 11 p.m. In the evenings, Paul and I smoke cannabis together. This is so wrong. Cannabis is wrong. It's, it is a drug. It's illegal, isn't it? I feel sick, I tell you. This is the worst worse than I could ever imagine. Hello! Hello, sweet Bob. Hello there. Hi, pleased to meet you. Hi, Richard. Michelle, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. hi. Hello. This is Billy. Hello, Billy. Hi. Olivia. Hello, Hello, Olivia. First thing we're going to do is um, clear that up down there. Down there. <laughs> Richard, someone's just trod in something. Oh, you just walked in the, the poo, sweetheart. Don't stand on the chair with your, your, your trainer, sorry. You just tread in some poo. I, I haven't got any. You sure? Billy had it. OK, then. It's all right. Yeah, I know, you must have tread in it outside, Billy. Yeah, there's a little bit of a shot that like that, so... It's gone ten, and even though it's a school night, the Henry children are still running wild. Oh, no, it's bedtime there. Look, do you know what the time is? It's school past ten. So you're going to be a big deal. Go to sleep. I don't even know what the time is now. And two of the youngest ones are still... Uh... <laughs> oh, you... Get off to bed, Sophie. It's all going off in a minute. No, get to bed. Do what I do. There needs to be some boundaries, I think. Well, you just shut your eyes, Sophie, haven't you? In Northampton, the Gibbs children have already been fast asleep for two hours. Um, when Israel's gone to bed, he goes to bed in, at nine o'clock in a week. That's when I get to relax on the city, roll myself a spliff. Right. What's that? What is it? Right. What, split? Yeah, just like what, it's um, wacky, is it? Like what yeah, they wacky, call wacky, backy, backy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah. I read in the journal about that and I was a bit like, ooh, bloody hell type thing. But now I've met you, I think... Polite and, and all that, you think, well, they can't be cannabis users because, wait a minute, all Maybe they... Maybe a bit. Maybe I thought, right, well, I'll be honest with you when I read it, are they like a rough old lot or what? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's openly in the house. It's in the drawer. The kids could just mention it at school to their mates and that the police could turn up. And that's horrifying. In Eastbourne, it's strict mum Michelle's first morning in the Henry's house, where the kids rule the roost. She's been up since six preparing breakfast. I'll go upstairs in a minute and make the bed. After not going to bed till nearly midnight, the kids are refusing to get up. What do you want for breakfast, Billy? Bill, do you want to have Bill, come on. This is obviously because of the hour he went to bed, isn't it? There's a white cake Right, Sophie has packed lunch as well, yeah? Yeah. I need to know, do you want one of those cheese dunkers or baby bell? Sophie, what do you want? Cheese dunk or baby bell? Cheese dunker. Sophie. Oh, don't you sell. Come on, you no breakfast. We've got to go yet yeah, in a minute. Come on. With the family running late, it doesn't help that nine-year-old Sophie's locked herself in the bathroom. Hello. Sophie. Are you not going to talk to me? Sophie, come on! 
After 20 minutes of door-to-door -door counselling, Michelle's coaxed the rebellious Sophie off to school. Can you do your laces? Yeah? You can't really blame Billy and Sophie because their parents should be insisting that they go to bed at a reasonable hour and they wouldn't be so tired. They're good kids. It's Alison and Richard's fault. They should blame them. From hand and foot, the Gibbs children have been up since seven doing their daily chores before they leave for school. I'm just sitting about. Just sitting about. What does your mum normally do now? Does she do all this washing up? No, I do that. All right then, as long as I know. With the kids at school and no housework to be done, Alison's beginning to realise just how much me time Michelle um, actually has. Making sure I know what I'm supposed to be doing today. Pretty much not a lot, I don't think. In smoky stuff, which is easily to get to by children. She's obviously having a good old, uh, what do they call it, relaxing time. Alison's relaxing time continues into the evening as Roxanne prepares dinner and there's yet more me time. Alison, do you want me to set a bar for you after, yeah? Yeah, yeah that that'd be you. brilliant. Thank no you. All right. Thank you very much. It's nice. It's nice here. Yeah. This is such a weird feeling because nobody ever makes me dinner. No. Never. And they respect her a lot, you know. I really don't think that I'm respected in the way that she is. Your bath's ready. Quite relaxing to be Michelle, I think. In Eastbourne, Michelle is feeling far from relaxed. <laughs> when I called Richard to come and have a look at the cooker, um, he just basically said that He'll have a look at it tomorrow and then just went back out there again. So all, all he's interested in is just getting his dinner on the plate, basically. And he'll get his dinner on the plate, but I can't guarantee how it's going to taste at this moment. Or is it just the cooker? And it's not the food, it's the cooker. You can plainly see my food is not burning. I just feel like a slave, like I'm just here to do everything for everybody, you know? The eldest girl's in there. She's not once come in this kitchen and asked me if I need any help. That was just disgusting tonight. <coughs> Cooked the dinner and I didn't like it because I didn't want to eat it. Because usually and... my mum feeds him. Yes. But at least someone appreciates Michelle. Carry everything for the children. Um, Billy told me earlier that his dad gets him dressed and he's eight. I'm going to become increasingly annoyed and frustrated at the fact that I'm expected to wait on everybody hand and foot. And her frustration continues as the kids refuse to go to bed for the second night running. Shut up now! Have you tried putting them into a routine? We try, but they're too scared. Why don't you just put them back then? Every time they get up, just put them back, because they will get bored with it eventually if you just stuck Because they just it. start playing up like they are now, I think. You think? I think so, yeah. I almost get the impression that you're scared of... In Northampton, Paul is wondering how Michelle is getting on with the Henrys. What are they like with um, black people? Oh, we like... Oh, do you know... Sorted, yeah? Everything fine? Yeah. I really, really wanted a coloured family, like a West Indian family, because they make me laugh so much and they've got but big But you're hearts. not used to them, no? You yeah, don't interact like... with them that often? Yeah, my daughters have got friends in the oh, class okay. like oh, it okay. and uh, there's lots of people live in Eastbourne, you know, who are. And um, I like them. I like. I love Patrick of EastEnders, that sort of person. I love Yolandi, okay. I like all of them types. I've seen you said it a few times now, coloured people. I do try and explain to them that they're either black, white or mixed race. My children are not blue. Over the next few days, Alison has to spend the £200 weekly budget as Michelle would, but she wants to know how much goes on the adults. £40, I've written on cigarettes. £40 
on the cannabis. Children don't have the cigarettes, children don't have the cannabis, children don't have the alcohol, so that's 95 pounds. Nothing. Under Michelle's rules, if the kids do ask for treats, no means no. Pardon? Biscuit? Yeah, of course. Um, the one with the chocolate on it. The one with the chocolate If they're not open here, you can't have them yet. They're not open, sweetheart. You're going to have to have them now. I have to have one of them. Or nothing. Just ignore them if you can. How about one with the creamy in? In my house, they can all have what they want when they want. You know. Alison can't bring herself to discipline the kids. And when Paul returns, Neo's strop is on its way to a full-blown tantrum. Neo's throwing his drink around. Come here. I'm getting it. Give me it. Go and get a tissue. Go and get a tissue. Go. Neo. Go and get a tissue. No. What's that on the floor then? You threw the drink on the floor, you will wipe the floor. Come here, if you do not, you will go clean up your mess. Yeah, I do think the naughty step's a little bit harsh for a three-year-old. I know they're trying to teach them a lesson at the end of the day, but, like, it would make me feel cruel, you know? It would really make me feel cruel. I will count to three. If you haven't cleaned it up, you will be going on a naughty step. Okay. One. Two. Just here, look. Just here. Just here. And just there. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Because I find if I did things like that, it'd be a thousand times worse. So I just tend to give in because it makes my life easier because they won't let up for hours. Yeah, like but if you do stamp it out there and then and it's done and dusted, all right, they might get upset and they might be crying for a little while, but you know that that's not going to happen the next day or the next day or the next day. She seems to love her kids, but she seems to send them mixed messages all the time, so they seem to get what they want. Quite a lot. And she wonders why they won't listen to her. In Eastbourne, the kids are living up to their reputation and ignoring Richard's okay, attempts to get. Go to your just Up to bed. Mm, don't sleep in this. Oh, don't care. Just go out the way. Go on, go and join Billy then. Unable to jump in and discipline the kids, Michelle takes time out. After fetching and carrying for them all day and being up from six o'clock in the morning. I really, I'm at the end of my table basically. I'm tired now. I say, yes, I'm breaking the rules. Get into bed. I don't know what Michelle's been doing, but she just tends send, send to lock herself in the bedroom. She's not helping out with the children. So I was sort of struggling a little bit on my own. Next morning, it's not just the kids who are feeling tired. I'm my I'll get it for you. I can only imagine that Alison must feel like a zombie half of the time. And the joke of it is I used to think I was tired before I came here. Now I know the true meaning of the word. And it's not just the kids who are making life hard for Michelle. Richard doesn't seem to do anything around the house and if he's not going out at work and he doesn't help discipline the children, he's not really serving a purpose within the household. And I wouldn't be surprised if Alison thinking to herself, why why am I with him then? To leave? Um, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. just... To give peace of mind. Yeah. Sometimes when I sit down and I fall asleep. Because you're just not doing anything. Exactly. Your exactly. mind's not, you know, your mind's not, not stimulated. Keep, stimulated. You're, not, you're not doing enough to do it. I mean, I'm not being funny, but you could even do a college course or yes. something. No, yeah. no disrespect, but being at home and being on benefits, you would get, you'd be able to go to college for free. And you're never too old to learn, you know. Not lazy, but I mean, I know you've got to go to work. I just, yeah, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not going to work. It's a chore. 
to me. You know, it's, a, it's something you've got, you got to do, but you don't want to do it, you know what I mean? In Northampton, 10 year old. Uh, how are you? Annoyed, because I got told that football is meant to be today, and no one told me that it, that is being cancelled. Are you frustrated a lot of the time? My sister gets on my nerves. Yeah, it gets on my nerves. And mum doesn't really spend time with me yet. Yeah. Don't she? Not <sighs> hardly ever. No. So do you think she has a bit too much me time? Yeah. You do? I really do think she has too much me time. She never plays with me or anything. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I don't feel sorry for you at all, but I understand what's happening, right? And I'm going to spend a lot Big changes tomorrow. Big. After a week without Alison, Richard's beginning to realise just how much she does for the family. And you are a slave to the five of them and me. Although I do help you around the house as much as I can, perhaps I don't do enough. With rule change tomorrow, the I'm kids not, have mixed feelings I'm about actually, Michelle. Well, I'm not listening to her, or I'm just going to go, blah, blah. Yeah, she's not doing our rules, so we're not doing her rules, isn't that right? Yeah. No. Yes. Why? I'm being nice. Might make you do all the hoovering and stuff. I do that, and I like it. <gasps> you does she ever do the hoovering? No. No, because nobody, it's it's nobody it's asking me. They're so used to running the house how they want to. It's like a fun house here, so by the time I'm finished with them, it's going to feel like it's a brat camp. Today is rule change day, and Alison can't wait to abolish treats for the adults in favour of treats for the kids. No booze. If it's there, it's going to get drunk, and this is the only way to do it. I'm very sorry, Paul. I've actually seen the kids open this drawer. It's going to be hidden. And with the money she'll save, Alison has big plans for the kids. £85. That is going to be completely spent on the children. In Eastbourne, Michelle wants to give the Henry children some boundaries. I'm removing the televisions from their bedroom because it's a bargaining tool so that they can earn back with good behaviour. And she's got a surprise so, um, in store for Richard. Will you? Well, that's good to hear. It's time for both families to face their new rule changes. Richard, your kids ruled the roost. You need boundaries, OK? You sleep. Right. Well, that means you can't sleep without Jessica or Olivia. Or well, you're going to have to learn, sweetheart, I'm afraid. I think the kids do too much. So from now on, there's going to be no chores for any of you. This week, there won't be a penny spent on dope. The same goes for alcohol. Now, what, no alcohol? Richard, I feel you have too much time on your hands. I think you need to reevaluate who you are as a man. So I found you an apprenticeship with a plumber. You start tomorrow and you will be fitting a dishwasher. No, I'm not going, but I haven't had it all clear from the hospital. So. You see, to me, now you're just making excuses and you don't oh, want to no. work. I'm is we're going to a safari park Sunday. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, that'd yeah. Nice. And that, oh, yeah. that has come out of the cannabis money, yeah? Richard, is there any... What's the matter, Sophie? She can't sleep on her own. Well, she's not sleeping on her own. She's sleeping with you, Tilly. Oh, she'll get out. I think you're just making excuses, honey, because Tilly's not crying and she's younger than you. I'm not going to work because I ain't got the all clear from the doctors. I ain't stopped her smoking a marijuana. I've got cancer, not drug trouble. Right, Sophie, there's no need you getting all upset, OK? There's no need for all of this because you, you it's not that bad. Billy, is it that bad? No. no. Tilly, is it that bad? Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, OK. Her. My dad doesn't have to do work. I had to shoot I was going to punch something. Oh, I really was. What did you do outside? I think I should bring for a walk now. For an hour, I better go back. Okay. 
we went for the kids. I'd have just kept going. But in North... The ball change! Because I don't have to do no more dishwasher. What do you think of your rooms? Good. Bye. Uh, I've never seen a giraffe, a tiger. Um, I've never seen a real animal in my whole life except for a terrapin, a lizard, a dog and a cat. The kids seem to love it. You know, they've all been told that they haven't got to do nothing and she doesn't want them to do nothing. She'll do everything for them. Alison for all the nice things she's done for us. Thank you. 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 But Paul isn't impressed with the shift in. Cup final. And where are we going now, Sunday? Do I have to go to the zoo? So I don't get me time no more. Must be the case. It's 8.30 and it's the first time the Henry children have had a bedtime. Michelle seems to think she's cracked it. The girls, I haven't heard a peep from them. And Jessica's in their room reading magazine, and it's quarter to nine. They seem a lot more relaxed and chilled. They seem like they were waiting for this change to me. I think I hear noise. Here again. I need you both to go to sleep now, OK? doing, Sophie? That's because you're standing there crying. Right, come on, get on the naughty step. <laughs> and you can stop the noise now. Shh, you wanted to get out of bed, you're out of bed now. On the bottom step. I knew deep down that somebody was gonna mess me about, but also Richard's lack of support was unbelievable. It's much easier for him to just sit there and watch telly and let me do all the work. I'm going to go to bed and get some sleep now. Good girl, come on then. I'll have to do it, will I? That's the only thing. You, you'll be glad that you've done it. You will be really glad that you've done it. It's a new day in Eastbourne, and the kids are getting ready for school by themselves. Right, well, you can come and get your breakfast. I'm so impressed, Sif. You've done really well. Did you have a good night's sleep? And Richard is back at work for the first time since being diagnosed with cancer two and a half years ago. So if you put the grips on those ones there... I was nervous when I first went in there, and now I you was know, working with them a little bit. I feel a little bit more relaxed, a bit more confidence at the end of it. On a whole, I think it's gone really well. In <laughs> sorry, ass. I'll be like this. You better mind, Alison doesn't come back or just come back, grab the kids and gone. House empty. In Northampton, Paul has some concerns about the impact of Alison's rule changes. Neo seems different this morning. He seems really tired, and normally he comes bounding down the stairs with a big smile on his face. This morning he's saying, Oh, Daddy, can you carry me down? I assume it's because he had a lighter night than he normally has, but we'll have to see, won't we? How, how did work go today, Richard? Obviously nervous. Yeah. But I did. I mean, I've put a bit of pipe on and I've done a couple of clamps, like, but yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I picked the cups of tea. And... Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Good, I'm really pleased. It's over there. So, with one success under her belt, Michelle turns her attention to getting the kids to bed. Is that the page that was on? No, sweetheart, but we'll find it, don't worry. And Richard's attempting to help. Come on, come on, come upstairs, get your jars on, please. No, I'm not he said to turn it off because he's on there too. Billy was starting from downstairs before he even had his pyjamas on. He put up a bit of a fight. Sit there, I ask him quickly, run down, get me glasses and I'll start reading to you. I've noticed that Richard's been a bit more thoughtless. No, you can't go and have a bath then, you need to be helping me. As part of her rule changes, Alison's taken the chills away from the kids. I think it's nice that Alison's doing the chores. It feels a bit weird, um, considering we're used to doing it. Look. Look, it's just all dust. Look, uh, uh, and there's grime and there's grease all over the back. I need a month here. But Michelle's got the Henry kids working hard. Oh. Go 
directing yep. some of the household budget from the kids to a lunch for the adults. This evening I was thinking as far as getting them to bed and everything, if you took the lead and you'd be well, good cop and I'll be bad cop, but I'll back you up, obviously. Is, do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pushing Richard to be harder on his kids has made Michelle think about how hard she is on hers. I feel I have a lot of high expectations of the children, but I sometimes think after spending the time with you and your family that I could um, step back a bit and, and give them a bit more breathing space. I'm getting really emotional now. <laughs> I just think some up, I don't want anybody taking advantage of them. They're, they're my reason for getting up in the morning, you know? Yeah, yeah. Go on in. Let's go get this garden done. As part of her rule changes, Alison's got the whole family helping clear the garden to make a fun area where the kids can play. Israel, get down, please. Why? Everyone is hard at work, but Israel is refusing to help. That's because Israel's not listening to Daddy, because he's doing what he wants. The first week with Alison here, I never see all these arguments with the kids. There was no arguments with the kids. What did I do wrong? I don't want to keep arguing with you, all right, because you know better. As Israel storms off, Paul sends Roxanne after him. Yes. No, but no, you do. me. That's enough. Sorry. Yeah. It's all right. No, it's I'm going right. to go and deal with this. Sounds like, sounds like my house. Who do you think you are? She just threw me no, before. I do not want to hear nothing no, from you. Was... I asked her to talk to you because <laughs> the way you were going on. The way that... Israel would like to just say what he thinks. And he don't know how to say it in the right way. Israel, listen to me now. Listen to me now. You, st you can't stop, can you? Listen to me. I see what he says to me, because I'm going to say, if he says I've kept him in his room, I shall let him out again. He's always him that good. He no done. one cares about me. I never get to speak. I never get to have my say. It's always classed his back to him, and I just want to get my point across. It's just a noise. Come here. Come on. Do that. I'm taking you all out in the garden. You've got all and put your arms around each other, and no, you're all going to say you love one to. another. You love him. He doesn't think you do, deep down. I love him to bits. There's been tears here with the family, and they've all sort of realised a few things today, I think. You right now? Yeah? And I hope at my end there are a few tears. I hope Richard's been crying as well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sure you are. Mm -hmm. Michelle's also having a positive impact on the Henrys with a dramatic transformation of bedtimes. Half nine, and then all of them are sleeping. Richard, are you happy that the kids are going yeah. to bed at half nine? Yeah. I feel really unappreciated yeah. right now. Not yeah. once have you said thank you, Michelle, for, for helping oh. me. No, you haven't, Richard. I have don't. said that. No, you haven't. Like no, you haven't. Did. I said yesterday. No, you didn't say thank you. Asleep by 20 to 10. If this is how it is when Alison's at home, yeah, I'll just leave it to her, then I really feel sorry for him when she comes home. I'm getting a taste of how Alison feels. We've chilled out every bloody night. I haven't chilled out once yet. What do you mean you haven't chilled out? Don't even get me going. If you want to say you want to sit on your doing in this house, yeah, and stop taking it for granted, because that's exactly what you're doing. Hey, 
Yeah. Oh, he's putting his hand in. Oh, look. Look, he's putting his hand in. Oh, he's putting his hand in. I think we will bring them out more often like this because the kids have loved it. They really have. I, no, I have. I've, I've enjoyed it. It's the final night of the swap and Richard is Don't taking sure charge. Yeah, sleep. Mm. Bed. All right. Mm. Come on in. Can't you read one page? No, it's too late. You had the choice. Mm. In. Kiss, kiss. So, Richard, how do you think this evening went? Oh, we were brilliant myself. Considering yeah. you took charge? Yes, considering you took charge. Seriously. Hopefully we can take some good out of this and try to get those children to sleep at a reasonable time. Seeing how the family's budget can be spent in a more child-friendly way has opened Paul's eyes. Well, I'll tell you what, kids, as far as I'm concerned, I'm done with the smoking weed. After one, Yes, mate. You can't smoke if you're a football player. That's right, you can't smoke if you're a football player. Oh, man, I'm getting a bit of emotion now, so this ain't good. Um, and I've got one more thing to say. I'm sorry for the issues that you've had with your children. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, I'm behaving. Sometimes I feel like I'm a single mum. If I was on my own, I could manage. It's the final day of the swap and after two weeks, alison has got mixed feelings about seeing Richard again. When I see Richard, I'm going to tell him I've not been happy with the way he's been passing the buck to me. I feel sad about leaving the family because obviously I've become really attached to them. We get on well. Say, say thank you. <laughs> Bye, love you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> When I had to be you, mm. I found it to be like, I won't say hell on earth, but it was really hard. Was it? They're lovely kids, but they just didn't seem to have no rules or discipline. Mm. You, you did say, Alison, that it was nice that they'd done things, so you did get to spend... And I have sacrificed a hell of a lot. I'm not going to run around like a headless chicken after my children when they can do for well, themselves and run myself into an early grade, because I'm not being funny. You're 41, but you don't look it. You look older than your age. Oh, that means right. that you're, you're, you're run down. Yeah, you can look at me now and tell me that I look run down. That's because I've spent time in I your don't house. I think I look run down. You, you also say that you always cleaning up. You don't like them doing anything. I'm not always no, cleaning up. No, you say that you do it's everything so clean, for them. I don't have to keep and on. No, your house is tidy. At the end of the day, I not cannot clean. find nothing well, in not my yours. house now. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Whatever. So you yeah, say you clean your house every day. Yes, yes. I polished your house, and I was thinking, if this woman clearly polished... Uh, yeah. Clean your open door lately. Right. Rule changes. What were my rule changes like, Right, Paul? the rule changes that, she, that Alison gives me. The Why rule changes that oh, Alison gives me. Let him talk. Me. Let him talk, babe, then. Babe. No, you don't, obviously. The, the rule changes <laughs> that Alison gives me. At least I treat my man like a right. man. Oh, he yeah. comes after your children right. and the dogs. At the end of the day, you let my children stay up as long as they wanted. Israel has been a little <laughs> for the last week because he's not Thanks, been getting Alison. all his sleep. Thanks. And he's been answering me back all week, has he not? Because you don't tell your kids off. No, I you do. Right? No, you so, don't. I do. So I said, you change. might tell your kids, but they laugh at you. There they you laugh at you. Oh, get a life, Alison. At the end of the day, right, you're it. telling me my kids are frightened of me. They're frightened to open up to you. You know what, you're chatting rubbish yeah, because my not, kids do open up to you. This is why they're frightened to talk to you. What, 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 what are you talking about, attitude. Alison? Attitude. Oh, so now I've got attitude. Well, you are, aren't you? And you haven't? Well, I'm just sitting here. You're just sitting here. You're just sitting there throwing out your little comments. Right? At the end of the day, it's about learning here, right? No, you're not listening. At the end of the day, yes, it's it about is, learning it here, is, right? Yes. And learning from each other. Mm. But the you don't want to learn nothing from honey, me. Honey, let me finish, mm. right? The How only thing... Pardon? How do you know? Because you're not giving me no a chance one can to say get anything. Off. No, because all we can hear is your own voice. No, we, all we can hear is you. All right. 
Right, because no, maybe Richard's philosophy bit. is that they should You listen to me. Idea. You have seriously got on my nerves for two or three I weeks. I have told that. And I've been quiet, right, because you have been the problem with me. Oh. Okay? My kids ain't. Oh, it's you. All right? I go upstairs sometimes, Richard, because I can't stand being in the room with you. But you don't come up with no ideas, you don't want to do nothing. Well, then I have to switch the telly off and make sure I stay awake and talk to you. So it's took this to realise. So you've seen me sitting there with my eyes out telling you this, and it's took this somebody else to tell you. Because I ain't happy, I'm telling you straight. Right? And I was on the verge of I wanted to walk out the other month from you. But don't just give up like that, because... Alison hasn't given up on you. We got a bit of change. Why has it took this to do it? That's why I went. Why do you think I went? How do you think I felt leaving that yacht? No. I tell you, I'm a right stronger person now. Stronger than when I left. Do you know that bloke, he can smoke a couple of dopes, about six cans of beer, and he's gone. I've really had enough, you know what I mean? I don't even know if I want to go home. Do you know that? I want to go home and see my children. Well, you go home, then. I, I, I really... I'm not doing that to him, but I've, I am really unhappy. If there's anything that you guys want to talk to me about, you know what I mean? Or I'm unapproachable. And I don't want you to feel that. Did you learn anything about us? Yeah, learn how to hoover. Learn how to hoover. Yeah. Well, I'm doing it all from now on. A month since the swap and the Gibbs family has seen quite a few changes. I've got a bit more of a laid back approach to parenting. I'm a bit softer, let's put it that way. But I'm still the mum that keep makes sure that there's discipline. Since my mum's come back, she's spent much more time with me, and it's good. With my smoking the cannabis, I'm still quit. I do feel a bit help and do things with the children. We've been going out more as a family, and it's just been fun. It is still the family that works together, stays together, but it's also the family that plays together, stays together now. <laughs> <laughs> and the two weeks apart That's has it. had a profound effect on the Henrys. You didn't realise how fed up I no. actually was, did you? And it did worry, it worried you, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. It really did, did worry him. Yeah, you can have a crusty bit there. Yeah. Richard's taking more of an active role with the children, but it's not always mum, mum, mum all the time. It's dad that I hear more. <laughs> we all help around the house a bit more, or we off our own beds, and we are in our own bedroom again. The doctors have said if Richard feels like he does now, in about six months' time, he can ease himself into work slowly a couple of days a week. And I also feel as if I would like to go out and do something, you know. That's it, and again, Sophie. We are very happy, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Very well, we happy. Don't... We don't argue, really, do we? We, we never one did another. argue, did no, we? No, we made up one another, but we don't argue. And Alison has a lasting memory okay. of her time with the Gibbs. Right, well, my dog, she had puppies. Yeah, they're all little black puppies. So, because they were... They like to be called black children.